Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be dealing with a logarithmic system. We have ln x over a minus b divided by ln y over b minus c, and that is equal to ln z over c minus a. a, b, c are constants, and they are all different. And we're going to be evaluating the expression x, y, z. So, in these kinds of questions, uh, we can plug in some values if you know that a, b, c are constants and we have, let's say we have a multiple choice question on a test like AMC 10 or AMC 12, you could definitely plug in some values and kind of test it out. But anyways, I'll be presenting two methods and maybe briefly talk about the third one. Let's get started. So my first method involves the following. I'm going to uh, take two expressions at a time and cross multiply and come up with an equation from there. So let's take the ln x and ln y together. That gives us b minus c ln x, or I should probably write the y first. That's what I want to isolate. So a minus b times ln y equals b minus c times ln x. And now from here, we can just go ahead and move the a minus b and make them powers. So this becomes ln y to the power a minus b equals ln x to the power b minus c. And since both sides are ln and ln is just like, you know, a one to one function, we can safely say that from here, y to the power a minus b equals x to the power b minus c. Again, uh, a, b, c are all different. So a minus b or b minus c uh, or c minus a can never equal zero. Great. So here's what I'd like to do from here. Uh, I want to isolate y and write it in terms of x. So let's go ahead and raise both sides to the power 1 over a minus b. And then from here, a minus b cancels out and we end up with y on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, we get x to the power b minus c over a minus b. So this is something we're going to use later. So let's go ahead and save it for later. And then let's proceed with the second part. Now the first method, second part. Now we're going to go ahead and take these two together, x and z. And that's going to give us the following. We're going to write this as a minus b times ln z equals c minus a times ln x. And from here, we get ln z to the power a minus b equals ln x to the power c minus a. And z to the power a minus b becomes x to the power c minus a. And by raising both sides to the power 1 over a minus b, we get z to the power a minus b to the power 1 over a minus b equals x to the power c minus a to the power 1 over a minus b. Again, a minus b cannot equal 0 we get the following, z is isolated, and it becomes x to the power c minus a divided by a minus b. So this is another thing that we're gonna use, so let's go ahead and uh, frame that as well. Now we have y and z, and now we're gonna put it all together because our goal is to evaluate x, y, z, remember? So let's go ahead and put it together. x, y, z is equal to x times y, which is x to the power b minus c over a minus b times z, which is x to the power c minus a divided by a minus b. Now this is just x, so we can just write it as x to the first power. And on the right hand side of this equation, we all have the same base. So when you multiply powers with the same base, you add the exponents, right? So let's go ahead and add the exponents and write the x, y, z as x to the power 1 plus b minus c over a minus b plus c minus a over a minus b. Obviously, we can write the 1 as a minus b over a minus b, and then, then you'll have three fractions with the same denominator, so you can add their numerators, and that's going to be like a minus b plus b minus c plus c minus a all over a minus b. And here, b cancels out, c cancels out, and a cancels out. Everything in the numerator cancels out, leaving us with a 0. So this gives us x to the power 0. 
but x to the power of 0 equals 1, so x, y, z equals 1 from here. Awesome. This brings us to the end of the first method, and let's go ahead and talk about the second method. My second method involves a different approach. So for the first method, we kind of use exponentials. For my second method, I'm going to use the log function, more like properties of logs. And uh, somebody suggested that I uh, make a video on properties of logarithms. I think that would be a good idea. So I'll think about it and try to put together something. So from here, if you do the cross multiplication, and by the way, I just, you know, snuck in the K there. Uh, in a lot of problems like this one, where we have a proportion, uh, we want to set some, uh, you know, all these ratios equal to something so that we can write everything um, in a similar way. So from here, we get ln x equals k times a minus b, which I can write as ka minus kb. ln y becomes kb minus kc, and ln z becomes kc minus ka. And guess what? We're going to go ahead and add these together. You know what? Because we can, first of all, but that's not the main reason. When you add these up, you're going to get something nice. ln x plus ln y plus ln z on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, everything is going to cancel out. Ka minus Ka. Kb minus Kb. Kc minus Kc. So it's all, all zero, right? They're just going to cancel out, leaving us with a zero on the right-hand side, which is cool. But remember, we are trying to find x, y, z, not this one. But guess what? Using properties of logs, this can be written as the log of a product because this is the sum of logs and sum of logs can be written as the log of a product. And by log, I just mean the natural log because that's, that's our base. Uh, ln x, y, z equals zero. And you know, when you do the e to the power of both sides, from here you're gonna get x, y, z equals one. Or you can also think about it like log of which number equals zero. And that's uh, again, one of the properties of rules of logarithms that log one is zero uh, at, at any base. Okay, so we got x, y, z equals one from here. And you can also approach, like have an alternative from here. Let's say you got ln x plus ln y plus ln uh, z equals zero, right? Or um, let me go back a little bit and take it from here. So at the point where you got ln x equals ka minus kb, ln y equals k b minus kc and ln z equals kc minus ka, you could also do the following to find x, y, z. You can kind of write x, y, z in terms of uh, k, a, b, c. So by using the definition of logs, uh, the base is e here, so you can basically write the x as e to the power k, a minus k, b, y as e to the power k, b minus kc, and z as e to the power kc minus ka, and multiplying these all together, you get x, y, z equals e to the power ka minus kb plus kb minus kc plus kc minus ka. Sorry about my handwriting. Some people said that it's, it's kind of illegible and not readable, but, you know, I always thought my handwriting was okay, but maybe I'm rushing and uh, it kind of looks messy. Anyways, this becomes a to the power zero and x, y, z becomes one again. So there are many ways to approach it. And the third method that I was just going to briefly talk about is since uh, we are expecting a constant uh, answer, let's say this is a multiple choice question and all the answers are uh, constant, or even if they're in terms of ABC, you can plug in some values for ABC and then uh, test it out. And this brings us to the end of this video. I thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment. Like and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.